Howdy, everybody. Here we are, all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. What's happening down in Pine Ridge? When we left Lum and Abner last week, they had finally solved the problem of getting their new store on wheels out of Caleb Wheatland's blacksmith shop. You know, Caleb made the mistake of building the new store on the inside of his shop and discovered after it was completed that it was too large to get out through the door. Well, Friday, Abner was sitting up in the driver's seat of the car and accidentally started the motor in gear. The store crashed through one side of the shop, causing considerable damage. But it got the new store on the outside. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Lum and Abner and Cedric over at the rear of Dick Huddleston's store, loading their rolling store with a new stock of merchandise. Lum is standing talking to Dick. Listen. Well, the only thing I can see wrong with it at all, Lum, I'm just afraid that body sticks out too far over that automobile chassis there. It's afraid it's too long. Too long? Yeah. Oh, no. Now, Caleb Weehunt had the same ideas about that. He wanted to make it shorter, but I insisted on it being built long that way. Yeah. We've got to have a lot of room in there. Well, it's sure looking nice on the inside there, all right. Just like a regular store. Well, we've got a nice short man in there, too. Little of my nigh anything about him I want. Yeah. That's one reason for the delay. That this thing all loaded up once and found out we never had room enough for everything. See, them shelves is kind of shallow. Yeah, well, you don't uh, really need over a half dozen cans of any one thing, Lum. You can always come in here and replace whatever you sold every morning. Yeah, we've got to have a storeroom somewhere to keep the stuff in we ain't using. You know, you try to haul it all around one time. No, no. You get someplace and back up there and fill up the shelves every morning. Well, you can just go ahead and use this feed room of mine to keep your stuff in. Just load up from here every morning. Well, now, that's nice of you, Dick, but we wouldn't want to miss put you none. Why, it won't inconvenience me any, Lum. I don't carry much feed in here anyway during the summer months. You can just clean out one end of it and use it for a storeroom. You're welcome to it. Well, now, if you're sure you don't mind, <laughs> we may do that, but I don't know another place in town we could use hard. No, go ahead, sure. We've been out for much expense here in the last few days. Abner carrying the side out of Caleb's blacksmith shop. I had to pay him for fixing that up. And... And smashing up the radiator on the car. Yeah, that was a shame. Well, just delayed us to get them started that much. I think that's about everything now, Lum. Uh, what about the feed? You ain't got that in there yet, have you? I don't get that right. I might not have forgot about that. What about you, Cedric? Better get him to help you with it. Why, he's in the refrigerator. Hey, Cedric, come out here. In the refrigerator? Yeah, he's big enough to get inside of him. It was so hot carrying all these groceries out here. He just went in there to cool himself off. For goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> Got himself on cold storage, John. Well, now, he might cool off too quick that way, too. That's a good way to catch pneumonia. Did you call me, Mr. Abner? Yeah, get a move on around here, Cedric. We ain't done yet. We gotta load all that feed on here. Ain't no use to put it all in there, though, Abner. Just fill up the space in the back end there. 
four or five sacks of chops and three or four sacks of bran, a few bales of hay ought to be plenty. Yeah. Well, you bring it out here, Cedric, and then I'll show you where to put it. Well, go ahead and let Cedric load it, Abner. You come on in the store here. We want to make an announcement over the party line before we start out. Announcement? Yeah, I want to let everybody know we're starting out for our first run today. Oh. You don't mind if we, we use your telephone, do you, Dave? No, sure not. Help the telephone. I thought while I was talking to them, I'd remind them all to be sure and send in a name for our store, too, in that contest. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed in the way them things have been coming in. Well, I imagine they'll pick up in a few days long. They've got all this week yet to send them in, haven't they? Yeah, but that's what I want to caution them about. Tell them not to put it off till the last minute. They might forget it. Well, Lom, some of them are saying that they can't think of a good name for it. They're just trying to make something hard out of it. Well, most anybody ought to think of the name of some guy. Why, sure. I'm going to explain it to him again. Maybe I never made myself clear the other day. I want you to say something to him, too, haven't I? Yeah, well, go ahead. Get him on the phone. I'll say something. So, uh... Of course, it might be folks who's busy in the field. Ain't as many listening in on the party line as the general is. Summertime and all. No, no. I think they'll start sending them in these last few days. Long. Wait a minute, Hear the receivers clicking up and down the line. Yeah. <laughs> Folks listening in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, everybody. This is Lum Eddard talking. Yeah. Just wanted to tell you, me and Abner are starting our rolling grocery store this afternoon, so be on the lookout for it. Yes. Yeah. Love for you to all come out and go through it and let us know how you like our new ID. And buy something. Now, whilst I'm talking to you... You know, we made an announcement on the party line here a few days ago telling you about the big contest we're putting on to get a good name for the store. You know, me and Abner couldn't decide on our name ourselves, so we're leaving it up to you folks. Uh, there's a lot of you that's always been so nice about writing in that we ain't heard from you. No. We don't know what to think about it, Harley. Now, I don't think it's got to be some fancy name for you to send it in. Some little old name that you might think sounds sort of foolish might be the very one the judges like the best. Yes, sir. We want every last one of our friends out on the party line to send in a name of some kind. We want to know just how many folks is listening in on the party line this summer. This is about the best way we know to find out. So I want you to know that me and Abner appreciate it if you'll sit down and write tonight and send us your idea of what we ought to call the store. If you're having trouble studying up a name, I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> Something short might catch the judge's eyes. Something like uh, the speed wagon or the handy grocery or the grocery over. Or it might be a long name with three or four words in it. Like, uh, well, like a store at your door. Such as that might win the prize. There's a lot of prizes, so you got an awful good chance of winning something. And, and now here's Abner. He wants to say a word or two to you. Here. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh... Uh, howdy, everybody. I done said that. Oh, well, uh, uh, we want all our friends to send in a name. I but... done said that. Well, I don't know what to say. It looks like you about covered everything. Uh, Go and say something to them before they start hanging up the receipt. Why, uh, well, uh, we've got the store on wheels already now. And all we need is a good name for us. Well, maybe if I thought in this side of town, it'd be easier for them to think of a name. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and tell them what it looks like. Well, it's uh, 24 foot long and 14 foot wide. And it's built just like any other store, uh, except it's backwards. Right. The, the front end of the store is on the back end of the automobile. And, and when we drive down the road, why, the, the store's going backwards. See, when you go in the front of the store, while well, you're really going in Wait the back. Wait a minute, Abner. You're getting them worse mixed up than ever. Uh, well, it, it looks a right smart like the jot them down store, except it's got wheels on it. Well, all the folks out on the party line don't know what the jot them down store looks like. Well, it's a whole lot like a big store here now. Uh, it's uh, got show windows in front, or in back, whichever one you want to call it. And it's got a porch and everything, just like a regular store. And the whole thing is painted white. Yeah. Now, we want to put the name you send in right across the side of it in great big black letters. Now, uh, any kind of a name will do. We've just got to have one right away so we can get started. Here, we've got a store and don't know what to call it. Yeah. <laughs> now, don't put it off. If you've got some name in mind, why, well, sit down right now and send it in before you forget about it. That's all I can think of to say, huh? Well, hang up Oh, wait a minute. Don't just slam the receiver down and tell them goodbye. Oh, oh yeah. 
Well, uh, we'll be looking for a letter from all our friends, and, and I hope every last one of you wins a prize. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Mr. Long. Mr. Long, you and Mr. Abner, come here a minute. What's the matter, Cedric? Did you get all that feed in the back end there, like I told you? This one, that's the reason I want you to come out here, man. Well, good. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm just a buck in the try now. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, much obliged, Dick. We'll see you after a while. Yeah, sure. Good luck to you, fellas. Well, I don't think you're ready to start yet, Mr. Long. Come out here and look a minute. Well, for the land sake. What have you done to our store, Cedric? Well, I don't know what happened to it. All, all at once, the front end of it reared up that way. It the uh, stuffings out of it. Well, we can't drive it in them front wheels six foot off the ground that way. Wait a minute. I see right now that ain't going to work. That body's too long. Sure. We've got so much weight on the back end, the front end's reared clean up off the ground. Yeah, we may as well start unloading. I told Caleb he's making that thing. <laughs> It looks as though there will be a temporary delay in the launching of Pine Ridge's new store on wheels. for Lum and Abner and the Parley. We'll now bid you all goodbye until tomorrow at the same time. <laughs>